Hey yogis, welcome to class and happy fall equinox. Today, there is perfect balance between both light and dark. So in today's yoga practice, we'll move through a vinyasa sequence to help you create, manifest, and sustain balance within. We're going to get started in a standing position with some breath work. It's very simple. You'll take your feet open, hip distance apart like such. Lift and spread all 10 toes and then gently place the toes back down into the mat. Firm your thighs so that you feel this grounding energy start to rise up through the legs. You have a sense of stability. You feel the hips are stacked over the knees. The shoulders are stacked over the hips and you have a nice, strong, tall posture. Now we're going to include this breath work with a hand mudra. So the palms will face down to begin as a sense of grounding, stabilizing, and centering. When we turn the palms up, this stands for opening, opening to change, transitions. So palms down to begin. We'll start with a cleansing breath. Take a slow inhale through your nose. Open your mouth, exhale. <sighs> Slow the breath, turn the palms face up on your inhale. Begin to rise the palms up, inhaling as much air as you possibly can. Now when the hands reach the top of your head, turn the palms face down in that grounding energy and slowly exhale as you open the mouth, releasing all of that air. So very simply, inhale, palms rise, open to change, opportunity, looking forward to the season ahead. Open mouth, exhale, palms turn down, grounding, stabilizing, centering in truth and foundation. Again, inhale, now just the breath. Exhale, mouth open slow. Inhale, palms turn up. Open mouth, exhale. Just two more rounds. Inhale, make your breath just a little bit longer. Open mouth, exhale. Once more, last one. Make this one your strongest. Inhale slowly. Mouth open, exhale. Good. Blink the eyes open. So at any time in this next seasonal shift in your life, whether that may be the actual seasonal shift or for all of us right now, I think we're experiencing a bit of chaos, a little bit of dysfunction, um, a little bit of out of the norm energy. One of my favorite techniques is just to come into this breath, grounding breath. The inhale is the rise, the exhale is for grounding. So that's accessible to you wherever you are. Let's go ahead and get started with movement. From the top of your mat, we're going to start in a wide forward fold. So go ahead and open your feet wider than hip distance. Grab opposite elbows, bend your knees generously so that your belly touches your thighs. And then I just want you to sway from side to side as you exhale. Slowing down and appreciating this past season, letting go of the things that no longer serve you. As you open up, towards future possibilities and change. I have a little affirmation for you to keep in mind as you move through today's practice. So just hanging in your forward fold here, maybe close your eyes. I am not bound to any time or place forever. I am not afraid to start over. I am allowed to discard the past that is no longer needed and lay it gently upon the earth. 
I surrender. Inhale to a half lift. Long spine, flat back. Exhale, slowly forward fold a little bit deeper. Notice how good it feels to slow down. Oftentimes after our summer months, we come from such a busy um, space. Inhale, halfway lift one more time. And exhale, forward fold. That it is necessary. The body and the mind are craving a little bit of stillness. Go ahead and step back to your first downward facing dog. Ground down through the palms, spread your fingers wide. Take a couple of moments to pedal out through your heels, bending one knee and then the other. Feel the sits bones lift and lengthen up and back. Shake your head right, left, yes and no. Go ahead and bring the feet together. Gently lift the right leg up. Inhale, point the toes. Come onto the ball of your left foot. Look forward, take a big step up. Your right foot takes the place of your right hand. Good. Drop the back knee down to the mat. Keep your fingertips on the earth. An emphasis on grounding in today's practice. On your exhale breath, slowly straighten the right leg as you draw the right hip crease back. Lead with your chest, the heart slides forward. Good, take another inhale breath, bend into the right knee. This is a low supported lunge, lift your chest. Let the exhale draw your hips back, half splits. Feel the right hip move back. Keep the heart space open. Good, bend into the right knee. This time, grounding down through the back knee, slowly lift your arms up and then over your head. Feel the chest open. Exhale, release the hands onto the mat. Step back into downward facing dog. Pedal the heels, moving slow. Don't force the body into any specific shapes or positions today that doesn't feel organic, natural, or nourishing. Bring the feet together. Inhale, raise the left leg high to the sky. I want you to feel the beginning, the middle, and the end of each posture and each breath. So there's no rush. Exhale, knee to chest, round the spine. Feel beginning, middle, and end as you step the left foot through. Back knee drops down, fingertips stay connected to the earth. Back toes are curled. Inhale, slide the heart forward, low lunge. Grip through the back loop. Exhale, straighten the left leg and draw your left hip back. Good, balancing from front to back, right to left. Inhale, bend the left knee. Draw the chest forward and up. Exhale, shift the hips back, half splits. Feel the beginning, middle, and end as you possibly even bow over the leg. Good, inhale, bend the left knee. This time we'll stay right here, lift your arms up. Move from a space that feels solid, connected. When we talk about the word serenity, we're talking about wisdom, this inner space of deep, deep wisdom where we, we have the courage to change the things that we know that we can, the things that don't serve us anymore, we can let them go. But we let go of the things that we know that we cannot change. Bring the hands to the mat, slowly step up to the top of your mat this time. Feet open, hip distance apart. Again, grab opposite elbows and sway from side to side. So the center of serenity is the truth, the wisdom, and the inner stillness that lies within. Inhale, rise to standing, arms up and over the head. Join the palms together, lift up, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold all the way down, hands on the mat, head down. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine, flat back. Exhale, step back to downward facing dog, hips up. All right, we're going to build a little flow, connecting breath with movement and taking moments in between to pause and ground into our being, ground into stillness, right leg up, here we go. 
Bend the knee, open through your hip, knee to the sky. Come onto the ball of your left foot, knee to chest as you round and shift, step right foot to right hand, back knee on the mat, arms to the sky right away, inhale, low lunge. Now as you exhale, open up to a modified warrior two. So your arms will open, you're going to kick your left foot out to the side. Go ahead and extend your arms in opposite directions, aligning shoulders over hips. Sitting down into the right thigh. Take your gaze to one solid point. This is called setting a drishti or a focal point. Helps you to maintain inner balance and connects you to your inner sense of serenity and peace. Turn the right palm face up. Reach up and back. This is a modified reverse warrior. Exhale, bring the right forearm to the right thigh. You're welcome to stay right here. If it feels okay to you, drop the right fingertips inside of the right foot and stretch your left arm forward. The left shoulder draws back. Now you're going to rise all the way up as you plant the left hand now at the back of your mat. Your right leg simultaneously straightens out. Turn the right toes to parallel to the back of your mat. Take the right arm up and then over your head, long side body stretch. Good, gate pose. You're gonna press down through the left shin, rise all the way up, slip the right hand down the right leg, taking the left arm up and over your head. Option here to raise the bottom arm up using the strength of the side body. Create balance by setting into the breath. Good, bring the left hand back down to the mat, Lift the right leg high to the sky. This is a modified side plank pose. Look down at the back of the mat. We're going to take a full circle, representing the circle of life itself. Right hand down, curl the back toes under. You're going to come into a downward dog, but make a figure four shape with the left leg. So you're going to anchor the left ankle on top of your right knee. Now your right knee needs to bend for support. Actively flex the left foot and try to draw your left inner hip back. Good, look forward at your hands. You're going to step your left foot to your left hand. Turn the back foot down to a 15 or 45 degree angle. Sweep your arms back like wings, turning the palms face down. Lightly hug the shoulder blades in towards one another. Feel your left hip gently move back. Try to keep your right leg straight. Warrior one, inhale, Vira Bhadrasana, warrior. Arms up and over the head. Now the lower half of your body from hips to heels is grounded and stable. This represents the masculine energy. Remember that everything in life is balanced. There's equal. That's why the fall equinox is so spectacular. It's a celebration. But from the hips to the shoulders or the hips to the crown of the head, this represents the feminine energy, the fluid-like energy within. So the masculine holds the space. The feminine is open to creativity, possibility, and change. On your next exhale, straighten the left leg, turn to the long edge of your mat, turning your toes and heels out, extend the arms. Prasarita Parottanasana, take a wide forward fold. Hands to heels, drop the forehead down towards the mat. Deep, long breath. Slowly walk your hands to the front of the mat now. Move your right foot to the right. You're gonna rise up into a high lunge. So grounding first through stability, raise the arms up and then over your head, sitting down into the right leg, deep breath. Lengthen the tailbone towards your back left heel, reach up, inhale. Good, now allowing the lower body to stay stable as it is, creating that masculine foundational energy. Good, we're going to sweep the arms back and away, allowing the upper body to become fluid, mobile. Inhale, up and back. This time, make a big circle with the arms, circling forward, up and back. Just two more times. Reach the arms up high over your head. Good, take the left hand down to the mat. Easy twist, right arm up. 
Grounding down into the right thigh, feel the right arm lift up and over the head. Drop the back knee down. Like you're back stroking the right arm, I want you to reach back, bend the left knee. See if you can catch your foot. Feel the chest lift up. Good, hands on the mat. Step back. High plank this time. High plank, inhale. Can be done from the toes, a little more challenging or drop down to the knees. I'll show the knee variation first. On your inhale breath, lean forward. Exhale, lower down halfway, elbows to 90 degrees, chaturanga. Inhale, slide forward. We're going to go into a high cobra in today's practice. So no upward dogs. Your knees stay down, the toes are pointed. You roll the shoulders down and back. Good, exhale to child's pose. Bring your hips back to your heels. As you come into child's pose, forehead down. I want you to feel your hands and your forearms ground down into the mat. Now gently pull through the forearms. I'm gonna do this very slow motion on um, round number one. So you're gonna pull through the forearms. See my shoulders come over my elbows. Now slide forward with your heart, come onto the hands, begin to lift your heart up, go back into high cobra. Downward dog, curl the toes, lift the hips. Exhale up and back. Nice job, let's try the other side, feet together. Inhale, breathe the left leg high to the sky. Remember, we're working to fill the beginning, middle, and end of every pose. Go ahead and bend your knee to open the hip. Look forward, step up, left foot takes the place of your left hand, the right knee comes down. Inhale, low lunge, arms up and over the head. Exhale, modified warrior two, drop the right arm, take it behind you and simultaneously kick the right foot back. So now your right hip is directly over um, the right knee. Extending the arms, look forward. Modified warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior, right hand back, left arm up and over the head, extend through the sideline. Modified side angle, elbow to thigh, or slip the left hand down to the mat. You might even extend the top arm over your head. Now you're using the left arm to gently press your left knee back. Come all the way up, straighten the left leg, drop your right hand down, taking the left arm to the sky. Let your left toes come parallel to the front of the mat, taking the left arm overhead, breathe. Gate pose, you'll rise up, sweep the left hand down the left leg, reach the right arm up and over, and for a challenge, raise the left arm up, use the strength of the side body, grow taller, keep the chest lifted, and release, right hand down, left arm over the head, lift your left leg, modified side plank, breathe. Left hand on the mat, here's that funny transition, so you're going to go back to downward dog, Figure four, cross right ankle on top of left knee. Draw the right thigh out, press down through the palms, relax the back of your head. Look at your hands, step right foot to right hand. Back heel down 45 degrees. Arms go back. This time if it feels okay, you can interlace the fingers as you roll the shoulders back and away. Do your best to hug the right hip crease back. Warrior one, inhale, slowly rise. Feel the foundational or masculine energy in the legs. Feel the lightheartedness, fluidness, and freedom throughout the upper body representing the feminine. Draw navel to spine, lengthen up and out through the crown of the head. Ground into your breath. Good, straighten the right leg. Turn your toes to the long edge of the mat, toes in, heels out and fold down the middle. Exhale, Prasarita Padottanasana is wide leg forward fold. Take a moment here to just be ground into stillness. The ego says, go, 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 what's next? How can I keep moving? How can I find my next challenge, right? But the inner being says, slow down. Take a moment to sit with what is as it is. Take a moment to shed any unwanted layers and open up to future possibility. Walk your hands now to the front of your mat. Move your left foot to the left. 
We're going to rise up into a high lunge, arms up and over the head, inhale. Find the balancing energies between your breath, the inhale, open to possibility, creating awareness, awakening the body and the heart. The exhale allowing you to release, to let go, to soften into the moment. Good, sweep the arms back, keeping the legs the exact same. The arms will move back, strengthening the back leg. Inhale, arms up. We're going to make a big circle at the top. So you circle the arms back as you lift the chest. Sweep the arms forward, up and back one more time with your breath. Try it on your own. Connecting your breath to the movement, all the while trying to keep the foundational masculine energy in the lower body reach. Up. Good, exhale, easy twist, right hand to the earth, left arm to the sky. Good, feel the left hip hug back. Lower the back knee down, bend the knee in half, see if you can reach back. Can you catch your foot? Draw the left shoulder back, lift the heart up. You can walk your right hand a little bit further to the right to give yourself more space. Good, slowly release. Step back. High plank pose, toes or knees. This time I'll show the toe variation. Take an inhale breath, shift forward. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale, knees down, high cobra, shoulders back. Exhale, hips to heels. Pull down through the forearms. We're going to slide or slither through. Inhale, high cobra, knees stay down. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, let's enjoy that flow one more time. Creating balance from breath to breath. Feet together. Right leg to the sky, inhale up. Exhale, step through, right foot, right hand. Back knee down. Arms up, inhale, low lunge. Exhale, modified warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, modified side angle. Go ahead and extend your top arm over the head. One breath, one pose. Inhale, rise up, modified warrior two. Left hand to the back of your mat, right arm overhead. Straighten the right leg. Rise up, gate pose. Sweep the left arm overhead, option to raise the right arm. Left hand down, modified side plank. Right arm um, over the head and right leg lifts. Downward facing dog at the back of your mat. Take the figure four shape as you cross left ankle, right thigh. Warrior one, left foot through. Inhale, rise, arms up. Straighten the left leg, toes in, heels out, and fold down the middle, exhale. Walk your hands to the front of the mat. It's inhale, high lunge. I want you to stay lifted this time, hands to heart center, inhale. Exhale, twist to the right. Left elbow connects outside of right knee, sealing the palms together. Lower your hands, step back. High plank from toes or knees. Lower down, chaturanga. Knees down, inhale, high cobra. Exhale, hips to heels, child's pose. Inhale, slide or slither through. Back into high cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left side, breath to movement. Maintaining balance and fluid energy. Left leg up, inhale. Step it through, exhale. Inhale, low lunge, back knee down. Exhale, modified warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, rise. Right hand to the back of your mat, straighten the left leg. Take the left arm overhead. Gate pose, rise up. Left hand down the left leg, right arm up. Option to raise the bottom arm. Good, right hand down, modified side plank, lift the left leg up. Take the left arm overhead. Left hand down to the mat, drop the left toes, it's downward facing dog. 
with a figure four leg. Step it through, right foot to the back of your mat. We're rising into warrior one. Take your time, inhale. Exhale, turn to the long edge of your mat, arms out and fold. Walk your hands to the front of the mat. On the inhale, it's high lunge, arms overhead. Hands to prayer, on the exhale, twist. Right elbow connects to left knee. On the exhale, hands to the inside of your left foot, little change. Move your left toes to the left. Step up to Malasana, yogi squat. Toes out, heels in, hands to heart center. Roll the shoulders down and back. Close the eyes. On your next exhale, fingertips to the floor. Forward fold as you lift the hips up and back. Grab opposite elbows and sway side to side. Relax. Notice the difference of this forward fold compared to your very first fold about 20 minutes ago. What has changed? What has stayed the same? Slowly rise up to standing. Good. We'll finish it out with a balancing posture, bringing the feet together, hands to heart center. Pick up the right knee, drawing the right knee in towards the chest. You're going to bend your left knee, Stack the right ankle on top of the left knee for a figure four shape in chair pose. We often refer to this as funky chair. From here, you're welcome to raise the arms over the head. For a challenge, you can bind the hands behind your back, rolling the shoulders down. Sit down a little bit deeper into the left foot. Drop into stillness, even though you feel a touch shaky, right? You feel there's a little sway, a little quiver. And even in these times of uncertainty, when chaos seems to surround us, you're able to center into serenity, to drop into grace to fill your inner being of wisdom and strength. Whatever hand variation you chose, stand up and release. Whew. Second side, last side. Now as we move into our last side, second side, try not to compare side one to side two. They say the, the thief of joy is comparison, right? So release, let go. Hands to your heart, pick up your left leg, eyes on one spot, creating balance first. Once you feel steady, bend the right knee, stacking your left ankle on top of the right thigh. You're going to sit down as low as you can. Everybody's um, range of motion is going to look a little bit different here. Again, no need to compare, no need to judge. Actively flex this left foot, drawing the left hip back and away. And now, taking your arms up, maybe out to the sides, maybe hands on hips. Right? Another one of my favorites is to cactus the arms, allowing the chest to stay open. Whatever arm variation you decide, allow it to be unique to your experience, your journey, and the moment. Surrender into breath. I am grounded. I am centered. I release what is not mine. Slowly rise up. Ah. 
feet down, shake it out. Go ahead and lie onto your back as we complete our time together. So you lie onto your back, set your feet down hip distance apart. Arms by the side, gently lift your hips up and over. Hips come up, bridge pose, set to bandhasana. Your hips and your knees moving towards one plane of alignment. Walk the shoulder blades closer together. You might even interlace the fingers. Notice how good it feels here at the end of your practice that you took the 20 minutes today. Maybe it was 25 minutes. We can stay relaxed around time in yoga. That's the best part. Notice how good it feels to set time aside to connect with your body. Just a little bit of movement is all it takes. It can radically change your life. Slowly lower down. Good. Happy baby pose. Flex your feet. Grab the knife edge of each foot. Find stillness here. The temptation might be to rock and sway side to side, but I really want you to anchor into stillness here at the end of your class. So what are you letting go of this season? What layers are you ready to shed? Extend the left leg down the mat. Hug the right knee into your chest, interlacing all 10 fingers around the right knee. Gently draw the right knee in and up towards the right shoulder, deep squeeze. And twist, taking your right knee across the body. Easy twist, right arm out. Gaze past the right shoulder. And switch, right leg out. Left knee and interlace all 10 fingers around the left knee. Hug your left knee towards the left shoulder, tight squeeze. Exhale to your final spinal twist, knee across the body. Left arm to the left. Coming back into stillness. We'll enter into final Shavasana. Arms and legs open, palms face up. Now I'd encourage you to keep one palm up and turn the other palm face down. And I'm not going to tell you which is which or which one to do. There's no right or wrong. I just want you to notice which one you naturally gravitate towards turning down, which one naturally gravitates towards opening. So the right palm is said to be our masculine energy our sun side, our yang energy, the more doing side of our bodies, and the left side is your yin, or your feminine-like energy. This mysterious, darker side. So whichever palm you turn face up, naturally, this might be the energy that needs more attention. This is the energy side of the body that is craving more opportunity to shine. And the palm that you faced down is the energy that's solid, grounded. This, this piece of the body or the energetic anatomy within right now is good. Allow that space to be to rest and take more time to awaken whichever side of the body is open, whether that be masculine or feminine, no matter if you're male or female, we all have these two energies within. So in celebrating the fall equinox, celebrating the ebb and flow within each and every one of us. Celebrating change as there is only one constant in life. And that is that everything will change. So as we embrace the waves of change and shift towards a new season, I hope that you are able to ground into your center of serenity 
and inner being. Go in peace. Namaste.